Good morning, everybody. As you can hear, the the roosters are saying good morning as well. Mr. Frank. Oh, I think Medina's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably over there yelling and uh, talking to Rico over there. <laughs> but it's Monday morning, and uh, I think summer has arrived, officially. Even though the first day of summer has passed, but... Man, guys, it is hot. Well, yesterday was really, really hot. Yeah. And this week's even, even worse. Yeah, I was looking at the weather. I was telling Anthony, I was like, man, here this week, we're going to have to get up even earlier than we already do to, like, get some stuff done and beat the heat, you know, because... What? Oh, my goodness. I... Real quick, Anthony did go and buy the chicken wire. Okay, I'm trying to talk. Frank. Uh, he did go get the chicken wire yep. for the baby chicks. He's uh, hog ringing <laughs> some more to it. Man, those roosters are on it today. These baby chicks are on it. Yeah, so just a second ago, one almost climbed all the way up and poked its head out through the top. And they just shove it back down inside there. <laughs> well, they can't get out now. There'd be There was so many baby chicks out in the yard right here all the time yeah every morning and i'm like you know um i don't want them to get eaten no kind of thing, yeah. you know? this is obviously stopping them so. yeah well so um i think it was friday's video yeah so friday we did put the wood over the doorway of the hoop coop area i don't know how but they figured out a way to get out of there look at every time i want to record what they're doing they just plop down <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sure there are hungry. But they were getting out. They'd, they'd come out. Like, look, see, look, see, look. They're trying to... Look. They're trying to get out. See, look at that. Look. And they can still technically get out right there. Hey, once that's... you go back in there. Go on. So that's why I'm hoggering this more. I don't want them to go through the wire and get stuck in between. Yeah. Cause it looks like they could possibly do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> they can. You guys are something else, I tell you. They are. They're starving to death. Yeah, right. starving so much you gotta fly out. Try man. Yeah. <laughs> it's craziness. These birds, man. Oh, and the rabbits too. I see them over there. They're probably hungry, huh? Or did you feed them? I didn't feed them yet. I let Wyatt feed those. I've been really, really letting Wyatt take care of the rabbits fully. Yeah. Making it his pretty much entire chore. I double check to make sure everything's okay. Yeah. But I just tell him, hey, the rabbits, you know, time to get up, dude. They need water. They need food. It's time to go. Come on, yeah. get up, get up, get up. He does a good job. Yeah, he's awake too right now, right? I know. When I, when I, most of the time he'll come out. I won't even have to really tell him anymore. In the morning he'll yeah. just get up and go do it. Yeah. Like real quick. So yeah. that's good. So we had a uh, pretty chill, literal chill weekend. Because <laughs> yesterday I think was like the first official hottest day of the year. So we didn't really come out of the house very much. Because it was very, very, very hot outside yesterday like we mentioned. And then it's just going to get hotter as the week goes on. But uh... And then what, oh, Saturday, we did do something cool. Um, David and Hazel and uh, Lissa and Mike, they all came over and had a barbecue over at Melanie's house. So we went over there and hung out. If you guys happen to catch us on Melanie and Gary's live or David's live, it was nice seeing everybody on Saturday. But if not, that's cool. We went live and hung out over there. That was really fun. Um, had a nice little barbecue and... Um, had a nice little campfire at night, and we were just chilling and hanging out. Man, those chickens today, guys, are something else. <laughs> they, the puppies, have spilled my coffee all over the floor and have licked the inside of my cup. Hmm? Clean. Can't even tell I had coffee in it. That is gross, guys. The last thing they need is coffee. So... <laughs> I guess I'll have to get me a new cup and clean this one out or do something. <laughs> That's okay. That was my second cup already. 
I woke up already this morning. I watered the garden, got everything going over there. I was going to tell you too, baby, on my corn. Yeah. I noticed that I'm starting to get those little like wheat looking things coming out the top. Oh, nice. The seeds. Is think, that what it I think, is? I think those are where the seeds are at. I yeah. Think. Yeah. But yeah, that's when the corn's going to start getting a lot bigger. Yeah. So on my... Good stuff. Yeah. Um, what I'm meaning like that. You know how like on a stalk of corn... Like at the top, it's it looks like wheat. It's all like grassy looking and has like, it just looks like wheat, I guess is the best way I can describe it. Well, I noticed today that one of my corn is starting to do that because uh, we went into town and we were driving by like some of the neighbor's houses and they have corn growing in their yard and they all have, all their corn has that on there. And I'm like, mine doesn't have that. It's not growing, you know? Well, I noticed this morning, so. That made me feel a little better that I'm not, you know, my corn's not that far behind from everybody else's out there. <laughs> and then uh, I, if you guys seen on, I think it was Country Road Cure, we posted some pictures. I actually got to harvest my carrots for the first time. Well, harvest my carrots. First time I've ever grown them. But man, guys, I got so many carrots. And there's still some more out there that I was going to wait just a little bit longer for them to... Um, grow and get a little bit bigger because they look kind of really tiny and I'm sure they're not very long so but I was so proud and so happy of how those carrots all turned out I did um Saturday uh slice them up and uh vacuum seal them and I'm gonna fr I'm freezing them I actually froze some of my zucchinis uh too on Saturday so yeah it was a pretty good little harvest I got two meals worth of carrots which is pretty cool I don't know what I'll use them for, but they're there when I need them. And I did taste one of them, and they were very, very good. They tasted like carrots. So I guess that's what you want, right? <laughs> oh, it's feeding time. Starving to death. They can't stand it anymore. You stand in there. Isn't that amazing? These just baby chicks not too long ago. Yeah. Come on, guys. No. No, yeah, no. That's one thing animals learn very fast is food. No. Where did the dogs go? I feel like Yeah. I feel like sometimes on the vibe, I feel like like not half of it, but some of the the vibe we're looking for the puppies, you know, Ghost and Lillian and stuff. Well, Ghost, oh, and Lillian are over here. Look. They're hanging out with Sylvia over there. She's way over there. Lillian, Ghost, Mora. <laughs> Puppies are getting just a little bit more adventurous. Um, we're kind of like giving them a little bit more free reign, especially Lillian. Um, and then Ghost, he's slowly getting there too, getting his little free reign, you know? Right, Jaina? Well, they need to have it. They need to have it. Because, I mean, they're going to be woods dogs, you know, not Lillian, but oh, well. so they need to know where everything's at. And Ghost is really, really good because I whistle and I call, and 99% of the time he comes running back. Yeah. So he's been doing really good. Yeah, he's been good. Yeah. I mean, they both have been. Oh, the baby chicks are are happy now all is well in the, the the chick house they're all eating and doing their thing these guys are over there eating and doing their thing Whoop. I see Lillian and ghost came back <laughs> can't help themselves they gotta play and stuff you know as puppies do uh, let's see well so this week we got some some things happening um like i mentioned earlier it is supposed to be very hot this week so we'll have to kind of work with the heat a little bit because some things we need to do are outside as you guys know we do have our mr cool mini splits in and we need to start installing those um i think we're gonna kind of work on it maybe today kind of figure out where exactly we're gonna put it and then try to figure out the power situation for it and all that good stuff we haven't really done much with it he uh anthony did pull out like the instructions and stuff and was kind of reading through it and um we did well we did anthony did 
uh, he went into town and got the right blower. So he took that other one back, got the right one. So we are in good shape for a little while until we need those extra hoses that are on order. Right, baby? For what? For the mini splits. What about them? I'm just saying that we're, we, I, I you, you. we exchanged the blower. You got the right one. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he had it down there. We just yeah. we literally grabbed the wrong one. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. our we got, we got, We got the right one back. Yeah. And um, we, uh, what was I going to say? I, I don't know, but I can't wait to get those things installed. Oh, I know. Um, I'll tell you right now because that small window unit is struggling. Oh, yeah, especially, um, yeah, it started yesterday because it was very hot yesterday. Um, I think that, I mean, it's been struggling the last couple of days because it hasn't been like, super cool but like yesterday it was just it never cooled off it was hot all morning hot all day ridiculous but yeah that poor ac unit <laughs> i mean it's doing its job like if you guys walk in there you can notice that it's noticeably cooler in there than it is outside but um like during the heat of the day we have to close the bedroom doors off so the ac is just in the kitchen living room area and our rooms will get roasting in there during the day and then right before I go out and water the garden and stuff, I'll open the doors up for our bedrooms and then cool it off throughout the entire house. One, because the AC won't have to work as hard because it's not as hot outside. And I'm just trying, but it's only a little bit longer. We got to deal with it. And then we'll have Mr. Cools and we'll be freezing in there in no time. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be like, man, I wish I had that little window unit so I could at least somewhere, you know, get warm, you know. Be like, no, just step outside. No, You'll be fine. Heat, so just set it to 72 and that'll be that. Yeah. It'll be all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I'm ready to get those things installed. I've already been trying to figure it out. Mike from DD5 came over. We were talking about stuff. He's installed a bunch of these. Yeah. Because he's an AC guy, right? Yep. Very, very easy. Um, I'm not 100% sure. He's not even 100% sure because he works on different sizes. He's going to check for like the power line that we need, what size wire. Yeah, um, that's... that's... he calculated on the side of the unit, so... I mean, can you guys believe that 36K unit is only a 27 point something total amp draw wow. for everything? That's crazy. So, most likely, like, I know you guys don't know, but like a double pole 30 amp uh, breaker will work. Yeah. Um, and basically, it's just running lines and hooking it up, and it's going to be per fairly quick once we get it going. But we do have to pour like a slab for it to sit on. Yeah, that's, so that's what I was talking about today. I was like, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to start working on it um, today. Got to make sure that that concrete we have is still good. Yeah. That's so, the biggest thing. Yeah, and we have to like find exactly where it's going to go. We know that it's going to go somewhere over here. Well, it's going to go right where that generator is at. Yeah, but, so we'll have to move the generator and figure out where to put that. We'll probably store that inside the pole barn. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, as of right now, I don't think we need their generator. I don't think the power is going to be going out. I say that now and then, you know. It doesn't matter, right, Abe, because not like from moving the generator from there to there is very hard to do. It's no, very, no. I've done it when it was pouring rain before and the power went out yeah. already. So just move it over. I just had it there. I put it there actually during the winter and left it because that's when most of the power goes out. Yeah. But... That's where our AC unit's gonna go. The yeah, so for pretty much all like uh, last summer and stuff, we did have it in the generator inside the pole barn. And then like Anthony mentioned, he pulled it out over the winter time and it's just been sitting there. I mean, we've used it. And Anthony's been very good about running it once a month and making yep. sure everything's working good on it. Yeah, and... need to run it. No, you said that I need to run it. Yeah. I haven't ran it yet this month. Yeah, we gotta run that. We gotta change the house filters. Yeah. Those are due. And, uh, and get prepared. I don't know what else. Well, for the monthlies. Maybe tell Sylvia not to chew on that plastic. Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it for the monthly um, service stuff. Well, the filters are every three months. Yeah, it's time. But it, yeah, it's time. We we replaced them um, March first, I think. Something like that. All right. It's, the the end of June will be. Actually, we're late on those two. We were supposed to change it out June first. I'm thinking about it. Mm. Well, but I thought it was July first. Maybe it was July first. I thought it was supposed to be in July. It don't matter. I got brand new ones. They, <laughs> <laughs> they can get changed out anytime now, guys. But uh, 
that's pretty much what I think we're going to be doing today. Like I mentioned, I think it's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It is going to be like 104, 105. Yeah, that's... That's crazy to and me. And yesterday, it was like 99. Yeah, it, it was 99, and it felt like 120 outside. Yeah, I, saw, I was telling <laughs> Roxanne, I was like, man, this feels like Vegas all over again. Yeah. Because, because the air is hot. Yeah, it was hot. and It's not the sun, it's the air. Yeah. <laughs> And the humidity oh. was something fierce. You guys know better than we do about all this. They've been living in uh, humid climates for a lot longer than we have, right? Yeah. <laughs> Still acclimating to it the best we can. <laughs> I, you know, so people ask, like, I don't know how you guys get used to that southern heat and blah, blah, blah. I don't think you ever get used to it. I think you just kind of deal with it. Because, you know, hey, if you got things to do, especially outside, you just kind of have to, okay, I'm going out there. I'll take, I'll deal with it as long as I can. <laughs> and a lot of people give me guff in a sense for always wearing pants, right? <laughs> yeah. Do, you need to wear some shorts and this and that and this. I can't do it. I cannot wear shorts. I'm I know. not a shorts person. Very yeah, I, I do see comments about that. Like me and, and the you, black shirts. Yeah, right? you and I are always wearing black and pants and our boots and stuff. And we're always complaining about we're hot. Well, just like Anthony said too, I, I'm not really a huge shorts fan. I'll wear them once in a while. And that's usually if I'm just kind of lounging around the house or there's too many bugs here yeah cleaning or something to bite you up and in vegas i wore black shirts pants 110 outside 120 outside you get used to it after a little bit yeah well but the humidity heat is i will agree with you guys it is different yeah than um, the dry heat we're used to yeah well and like back to the black shirts and stuff like that i mean black seems to be my color so huh. That's what I wear all the time. I mean, I have a green shirt on today. It's a dark green. Go. I do have other clothes that are other colors, but I don't know. You guys know how it is. You ladies know how it is sometimes. You just have that one color that you think you look really good in. And I mean, I have green. It looks good on me. I like green. Come on, guys. Oh, look. Are you prancing around here, Jaina? Hi, Jaina. She was over there trying to play with the puppy getting all crazy but yeah guys look at my garden it's looking so pretty it's a little overgrown with this grass i know i need to that's another thing i was gonna do yesterday but it was too hot i gotta mow yeah and i gotta weed eat everywhere yeah so we have a little bit of a overgrown problem i'll take care of that yep i did here yesterday and water all the grass all around because it's just been so hot these last couple days well, some of the clover is even getting... Yeah, it's getting know. a little bit crispy and crunchy and dying. So I don't want that to happen, all that hard work I put in this spring. It'll come back regardless, but you know how it is. That just happens. It happened to the grass. Yeah. But the clovers are going to be a little different because I don't think you can really get rid of it. No. Kind of a thing. Even if it's really, really hot, I think it's here to stay. But yes, water it. I'd like to get some watering system set up. Yeah, me too. We can just turn it, connect the hose specific hose and turn it and all the sprinklers turn on yeah i'd love that you know in like five different areas yeah because yesterday just real quick i had to uh, water i had to like move the sprinkler around like five or six times yesterday it was over here i you know here here there backyard i did the back side yard by the chicken coop I'm, <laughs> i moved the sprinkler around a lot <laughs> yesterday midnight wants to say hi oh hi I feel bad for these guys, all these fur. Yeah. It's so hot. Yeah, well, Midnight and Twister yesterday were loafing underneath my car. I don't think they moved all day long. No. I and think... the cats can come inside if they get too hot, but... Well, I don't want the cats coming inside because they still have fleas. True. I gotta Not get a them. lot. They have a little... We got to get them some more flea collars, but yeah. they don't have the medicine like the dogs do. No, I haven't given them the flea medicine. I don't know how much it costs for cats if it's like the same price. I don't know. I'd have I know, to look. We got 500 cats. So it's nice. <laughs> I know. Four dogs, five cats. So that's an nine animals. You have to buy the. And it's monthly, so. Yeah, and it's it's you know it can get pretty pricey. We're talking for everybody, like all the cats, I think I'm willing to bet it's going to be like 300 to 400 dollars a month. I don't think that much. I do. Nah. I do. Yeah. Well. Oh, come on, guys! You leave midnight alone. He just wants to hang out with everybody else. <laughs> Come here, midnight. Yeah. Come here. Well, I think it's time that we get this day going and started. 
Yeah, before it gets too hot, guys. Yeah, and get some things at least started. We're not going to finish it today, but start it. Well, we can, I mean, depending if that concrete's good, which I think it is. We have I'm... bags of concrete. Yeah, we it's been sitting it. in the pole barn, so. Yeah, we just get the frame built and... slab built and then get some concrete in it. we got to let it dry before it can do it anyway. Yeah, yeah. And I did talk to Mike. He's going to come help with this stuff, guys. He wants to help, so um, more the merrier. Especially yeah. someone that knows how to do it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but we're not going to be starting that, I don't think, until after this weekend. Because this weekend's the 4th of July party. Yeah. Over at David's house, Freedom Weekend. Yep. And so, he's got a lot of stuff going on. Plus, Mike and Lisa, they have a bunch of their own stuff going on. So, I think next Monday is when we're going to officially start on the AC stuff. Um, which is going to be really nice. Get it all done. <laughs> So just one more week with the window unit and that's that. Yep. Yep. So Light we're midnight. Yep. We're gonna spend this week kind of getting the prep work done, you know, the yeah. pad, make sure we got the power right and all that fun stuff. So we can hammer that out here real soon. Yes. Yep. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Enjoy this hot summer Monday. <laughs> stay stay cool. Yeah, stay cool. Stay safe. Stay cool, right? Yes. <laughs> stay hydrated as That's well. Right. Stay yeah. hydrated. <laughs> stay safe. Stay motivated too. Yep. I guess we will catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.